Get ready to imagine it. We are once again outside at Fifth Third Field during a Mud Hens game. I'm Tony Geftis, joined with Christina Williams and the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. We're going to do some grilling and chilling. We're going to crush a 55-gallon steel drum using just air pressure. What? OK, <laughs> so right. you got a drum back here. Okay. But Tony, you've got a torch behind you. If you can, with your extra hand, grab yep. that torch behind you. Got it. I'm going to show you how to fire these things up, because, Christina, I'm going to pass this to you. Okay. All you have to do is squeeze the handle once I light it up. Okay. Your goal, once these things go, they're really loud. So You're going to heat up the the barrel. What we want to do is heat up the air inside, heat up the water inside so it kind of expands. Okay. When I sort of wave you off, turn your torches off, I'm going to seal it and then you're going to put it on some ice. All right? <laughs> but let, let's heat it up first. So you don't try this at home. I also want to mention the Indians are at bat, so if, if we make a loud noise, then it might be good. Here you go, Carl. I'm going to hand this to you. Okay, so you're just going to heat up that barrel. Tony, get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. What we're looking for is to see some steam coming out the end of the barrel. Once that happens, I'm going to cap it off, okay. trap everything inside. So if you want, you can kind of move around a little bit. I'm nervous. Hit, hit the top of the drum, too. Okay. It's very hot. It is very hot. We want to get that air inside to expand and the water inside to turn into water vapor. Try to get underneath. Okay, you can turn them off. Okay, Christina, I'm gonna pass this microphone back to you. You can just put that on the ground. Okay. Yep, take the All right. mic. All right, so we've heated up the air inside. There's okay. some steam coming out. I'm gonna seal this really tightly. We're gonna capture that low pressure sort of air inside the drum. All right. All right, now you guys come in. Grab the drum. I'll take this again. Okay. Grab the drum. Just right Walk here. backwards. Yep. It It'll be fine. Your gloves will protect you. Pick it up, walk backwards, drop it on the tray of ice. Oh, I'm Got it? Come yep. Down. Just bang it right down. Hot. You're gonna, you're gonna make a mess. Got now it. rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate. 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 Yeah. Rotate. rotate. What we're doing is we're condensing that air vapor inside, trying to get the pressure inside to drop just a little bit. Keep going, Tony. Keep going. All right. I'm gonna add some water to try to speed things up. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Those are the ends collapsing in. That's pretty cool. We're dropping the pressure inside. Ooh, this is a lot of work. There we go. Look at that. A slight imbalance in air pressure, and you oh crush. Goodness. Yeah. I'm actually doing that with my mind. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's air pressure. Or that could be your mind. I don't know. <laughs> so a slight imbalance in air pressure, normally 14.7 pounds per square inch, but because we heated up the air and then sealed it, then we cooled it down, that air contracted, uh -huh. and the water vapor inside condensed. Woo! And I think we might have even poked a hole in the drum because it, it's cracked so it's, much. It's sizzling. We can hear yeah. it right now. And Tony, that was a lot of work. Yeah, it's uh, not something you want to try at home or maybe anywhere. You know what, you can, but you can do it at home. If you rinse out your milk jugs, your okay. plastic milk jugs with hot water, uh -huh. rinse them out with hot water and then cap them, leave them on the counter, you'll see the same thing will happen. The milk jug will shrink as the air inside condenses, the water vapor condenses, okay. and your, your plastic milk jug will crush just like this. <sighs> All right, so there's same a principle. mom and dad version for you that <laughs> yes. does not involve a flamethrower or a 55-gallon <laughs> steel drum. That's right, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, remember, if you want to come on down to the Imagination Station, and let your imagination do the walking. You can do so today. And if you live in Lucas County, your kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. Only on Saturdays. But thanks again, Carl. This Carl. has been quite a day. It's nice and warm out here. And that is how you imagine it.